Hello, Toastmaster Ashok. I'd like to give it a try. Okay, JC. fantastic, fantastic, uh, Puvili. So here is the first topic for you. Let me share my screen. Okay, here is the first topic for you, Toastmaster Puvali. Let's admit all of us here are non-native English speakers, right? So it's okay to make language related mistakes, but we should quickly learn from it. Having said that, tell us about a time when you have made a hilarious language related blooper and how did you handle the situation? What did you learn from the experience? Over to you. Toastmaster Publi. Uh, thank you, uh, Toastmaster Ashok. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to uh, think about a blooper that I made uh, that is a language related. Um, I don't have anything that comes to my mind, but um, one thing I could uh, share is. Uh, Sometimes I call myself as an, um, you know, English, uh, English buff, or I, I, I used to tease my husband saying that I'm better than you in English, um, you know, in terms of pronunciation or in terms of um, the spellings. So most of the times, uh, you know, I, I used to make this blender, um, like mispronounce some word, or I would be very confident while doing that. Um, and then, uh, you know, he used to Google and check and then, uh, you know, make a lot of fun of me, but I could not, uh, you know, instantly recollect what are those words, but he used to keep a note on his notes section and um, he would tease me that whenever we do a friends meet up with his friends or my friends and he will uh, bring that up. So, so I think it's, uh, we, we would have all had such instances uh, in our life, uh, you know, where we, uh, you know where we fail or uh, where we go wrong so I think it calls out uh, you know it, it makes a very good uh, you know conversation starter I think if we look at it that way so we can also use that uh, as our stories in our speeches um, and it's it's really fantastic uh, because all those blenders that we make or that we made throughout our school days or college days, um, when we uh, when we act, you know start looking back after a couple of years, uh, the memories uh, you know that the memories that come up come up along with the stories, uh, it's so fantastic to relive that. So that's how I look at it. Um, you know, uh, even I you know I I used to I'm trying also trying to paint the timer. Okay, so. So I think it, it's uh, it's okay. It's really okay to make all those blenders. So it's important to have those stories uh, collected so that you can share with your future generations, uh, you know, really re with your friends and families um, and also, um, you know, learn something from it uh, that you can be confident, but uh, don't be overconfident uh, about, uh, you know, your own blenders maybe i'm a little bit struggling here and and, and it's okay i'll be better next time yeah thank Fantastic. you lovely 